If you have a Honda Ridgeline Gen 2, you need to stop what you're doing immediately and take a look at your in-bed trunk. There is a problem with the way that Honda has designed the latch system. This can cause you lots of problems, could cause you thousands of dollars possibly at the dealership to get this repaired. I've seen that people have been breaking into their in-bed trunks because of this issue. And if there's something in there, there is no way that you guys could possibly get this repaired. So I'm going to show you guys what happened, how did I come about to fixing this issue, as well as how you can prevent it in the future. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Hey everybody, welcome back. And today we have a little problem with the Honda Ridgeline. We were transporting a little bike, one of those red radio flyer bikes, and it was inside here. But when we went to close the lid, we can no longer open it. So what I think is happening is inside here, there's a little release in the event that you get stuck in here, that you can get out of the trunk. And that handle was like doing something to it. Maybe it hit it, knocked it, or jammed it. So. This is no longer opening. So what we're gonna try and do is see if we can access and get inside this trunk without doing any kind of major damage to the vehicle. So let's lock, we'll kind of walk through and figure out how to get inside this in the event that this happens to you because if it's happening to me, it's probably happened to other people as well. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Basically, this method doesn't seem to be coming up with any good results. I'm going to try something else. wonder if you can access this hole down here. Maybe somehow poke a hole and then maybe shove something all the way through to whatever's causing that problem. So let's go ahead and see if we can access this hole right here. Okay, now that we have access to this, let's put a little flashlight down and see if we can actually see what's inside. Okay, now, now we have to make out what is actually going on in here, if it's possible. Let's see what is the issue here. Okay, I can see, I can actually see the release right here. I think I could probably push something, if I can get something straight all the way down to get that release. I don't know if you guys can see it in the video. Here, let's see if I can get it. Get a good view of that for you guys. Oh, there it is right there. So you can see that release right in there. What we're gonna try to do is see if we can find something to go in there and push up against it. So I need to find something really long that can withstand that pressure. So this is what we're gonna try and do. So we're gonna see if, if this will work. I don't know what the right length for this is supposed to be. We're gonna give it a try. So it looks like I'm making contact up there. I'm wondering if I have enough, this is gonna have enough uh, force to actually open it. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely moving in, into the right direction. Hopefully, see if I can get this little, give it a little push from up top. Gonna leverage it this way. <gasps> oh yeah, it worked really well actually. Wow. So let's see if we can figure out what caused this problem. Okay, so you can see here, let's see if I can get a flashlight. Uh, right here, oh, I don't need the flashlight. Got enough light on that. You got this little prong that I used. It's aluminum, has some flex, so it was actually like, when it was inside, it was kind of trying to push it on its own. 
I don't know if that makes sense. It was like a spring applying pressure to this release. And it's really, really light. So with just a little bit of man manipulation, this was able to move. It didn't move right away because uh, the end is kind of sharp here. So if you do happen to use this method, uh, make sure this is nice and smooth because the teeth were biting into this. And they were not allowing uh, this to open up. Let's go ahead and put this in here and see if we can uh, confirm that it'll open. So, this is not wanting to let go. Looks like I'm going to have to take this whole assembly apart and see why uh, this is not releasing. If we go in here, manually it does open, but when we close it, it does not want to open the latch. Okay, interesting. So it's actually not pulling tight enough just as I expected. So it's as if this got loose a little bit somewhere or it's worn out over time. And so it doesn't want to engage it enough to get the leverage required to actually knock this down and unlock this trunk. Let me see if I can show you my fingers here. So up here, this piece, what's happening is when this is engaged, this is engaged here, and we press the button, nothing happens because this lever here can't move far enough so that's that's the culprit here so now we need to I need to figure out how to get this perfect and fix this for future because it looks like this can possibly happen again the issue is how this is engaged which I wonder if this is shifted over time this is kind of loose right here it's not secure And all this over here is all kind of like moving around. I don't know if it's supposed to be this free to move. Maybe it's, you know what I feel like? I feel like this ball needs to be inside that groove. That's, that's the problem. Okay, so here's the problem here. What happened was over time this this wire here it shifted over like this. I don't know how. Somehow it shifted. This ball, that ball is not supposed to end up there. It's supposed to be inside. So if you move this all the way to where this yellow is and you open up the trunk it works and it's been working every time maybe over time it kind of pulled itself and kind of like just inched its way over all the way till where it no longer could grab so i think i think this probably this yellow hold on i think this is actually what moved they probably put this yellow piece here so that it wouldn't move over time and it did this is what Honda decided is a safe and secure way to keep it in place. So now we know what the culprit is. If you have a Honda Ridgeline, I would highly recommend you open this up 
and evaluate to make sure that this is in the correct location. So now, now we can see that the ball is sitting perfectly inside that. And when I go to lock it, every time now, it's going to open. So this is the culprit. Get inside here and make sure these two are touching and that's why they're there. They are there to ensure that. So I think we're probably gonna zip tie this. So what I ended up doing is taking a zip tie and looping it from both sides, making it a figure eight and just cinching it down really, really tight with the pliers and it's keeping it from moving really well. I think that regardless, if you have this issue where this is moving or not, you want to install this and you want to put this on, use that 10 cents worth of zip ties to prevent future problems. Because if this starts moving and the, the day when I used this, I actually had this entire bed full of frozen foods and perishable items and I closed it and you know, you're, you're trying to push it down and it's still opened. The next time after that, after the bike, it stopped working. So I imagine that if I had food in here, I would have lost everything or I would have had to like do some really drastic stuff to my truck. So spend the extra couple cents, put that on there to prevent it for future. And Honda, you need to do something a little bit better than two pieces of electrical tape because this is not good work. This doesn't work well. And uh, at least put the zip tie. If you're gonna be doing it at the factory, that is my recommendation. So hopefully you guys found this video useful because I think that regardless, even if you don't have this issue, just spend the time, get it done, forget about it. Hit that subscribe button, thumbs up on the video if you guys liked this video and found it useful. Please share some comments down below and let me know if you guys have seen this issue. Was there any shifting of those electrical tapes in your vehicle as well? Because I'm kind of curious, am I the only one who had this problem or not? So please leave me a comment down below and I'll see you guys on the next project. Thanks for watching.